Welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, this is uh, mathematics paper one. The question is on bearings. Drawn from 2024 GCE. It's Examinations Council of Zambia. Okay. So we have this question. And the question I have for you also is, if it were you writing this exam, what could have been your answer? Or if you are the one who wrote this answer, <laughs> I mean, who wrote this exam, what were your answers? Let's compare. Let's debate. All right? But again, I know that uh, some of us here, we know some people, or we are our, ourselves are writing our exams in 2025. And I'm inviting you, or I'm announcing to you that Mr. Peter and I have got online lessons that run every evening. Okay, we give you the timetable. So I'm inviting anyone of that person who could be writing the exam next year, which is 2025, to join our classes. If you would want to learn alone, call us or agree. Okay, once we come up with a deal which both of us are comfortable with, we could teach you at any time that you are comfortable with. Any time, all right, that you are comfortable with. So please don't hesitate to contact us on these numbers. The first one is mine, the second one is from Mr. Perry. We'll get back to you, just in case one of them could not be reachable. Thank you very much. Now let's get back to our questions. This was question 20, as you could see from the number. If you get this question paper, you go to question 20, you're going to find this question. Right. So in the diagram, A, B, and C are three points on level ground. The bearing of B from a is 135 the bearing of uh, b from uh, the bearing of b from the bearing of c from b sorry is 250 and the angle at c is 35 now we are asked to find the bearing of a from b the bearing of what a from b the bearing of a from b what is it that is what we are being asked to find and then the bearing of c from Okay, so let's do this. Let's get to do this. So I'm going to extend this line here. I'll extend this line here. All right. And I also want to do this. Okay. This always gets to help us. Like that. So the bearing of what? The bearing of A from B. The bearing of A from B. It is this one here. Is the bearing of a from b all right this is the bearing of a from b but as you may know that if we know what this the smaller angle here is if we know what this angle is here then it will be very easier for us to find to just subtract this one from 360 you just subtract this angle that is here from 360 but then if you remember there is a concept that says uh Angles on the same side of a transverse, so this angle here and this angle here, they add up to 180. This angle here and this angle here, they add up to 180. So what I'm trying to say is that 137, this is 137 here, and this same angle here, this smaller angle that I'm talking about, they add up to 180. They add up to 180. So since we already have 137 there, we could find the other one here, all right? This is going to be 43 here. This angle here is going to be 43. This angle here. This angle. This angle is 43. Okay? Now, if you look at now the one that we want, the bearing of A from B, it's almost like the whole complete 10 except this 43. So for the first one, I will be saying our answer here to this question is supposed to be 360 minus... 43 degrees what are we going to get all right 360 minus minus 43 let's do that what are we going to get this is the, going to give us the complete this is going to give us 317 degrees degrees that's the answer for the first one all right and then let's look at the second one, ladies and gentlemen. 
the bearing of C, the bearing of A from C, the bearing of A from C, the bearing of A from C, it's this particular one here. This is the bearing of A from C. Okay? This is the bearing of A from C. So, how do we find this one here? Now, I want us to understand something here. All right? I want us to understand something here that uh, this one will be very easy to know. This one will be very easy to know if we, first of all, find this angle that is inside here. 